Welcome to my classroom. This class is about uh, the RM ANOVA, repeated measures of ANOVA. Repeated measures of ANOVA is a very huge test with a lot of possibilities. What I'm going to do is uh, repeated measures of ANOVA for a uh, one independent variable condition. That means you have one independent variable that is, let us say, a condition where uh, con uh, test one, test two, test three, that means pre-test and then intervention, post-test and follow-up. Follow-up is more like a um, usual term um, I think an appropriate term in, in, in the country in a research condition would be delayed post test now what is the concept of this uh, what is the difference between uh, repeated measures of ANOVA generally people call us RM ANOVA and usual one-way ANOVA the difference so equation logic everything works same ba basically we work with the variance of the data so basically it's a uh, um, the F value is about is basically between variance In uh, between group design, that is one way ANOVA, we use within variance. Instead, we use a term called as error variance. Are they different or are the same error variance and uh, within uh, within group variance? They are different. Okay. Now let's see what is the concept of error variance actually. Um, I think to clarify this part, you must to watch my video uh, related to. Uh, ANOVA, it's a bigger video, 27 minutes video, uh, please watch that to make sure that you know the concepts of variance and um, between group and within group variance. Okay, now, what is the uh, the, uh, the between group variance? That means you will have a value here, another value here, another value here. So, comparing these three values are between group variance. That's a basic idea here. So, what we do in a RM ANOVA? So, basically, um, this part is easy to understand as usual between group variance. Uh, what is this concept of error variance for that you need to really uh, work with the usual way that is within group variance so what is within group variance here as usually we explain this variance plus this variance plus this that means this much variance and this much variance and this much variance are these things you will get a within so one problem here is or one benefit here is uh, this sample is same as this sample and this sample which is not similar condition of uh, 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 between group design where this group will be different compared to this group and this group will be different but in a within group design each participant will be going th uh, going through condition a pre-test and post-test and follow up like that now so within here uh, you cannot really take an entire within because uh, some element of variance is shared because of the people those who are uh, same in the condition so that means this within group variance is basically combination of two parts uh, one is a subject participant related variance plus error variance error variance is basically uh, fluctuation uh, uh, the difference between uh, because of the sampling fluctuation now um, so sampling fluctuation means the performance of the people it characters of the person generally random scores like that now the the element here is you need to work with the error variance here instead of subject element so you can you have to subtract it so generally what we do in a uh, test is instead of uh, you calculate within you can calculate subject and you can work with the uh, error variance and this will be used for f value here like that okay now um, what i want to discuss here is basically about the degree of freedom calculation so when you look at the degree of freedom calculation um, the usual summary table will draw now so you have sources sources of variance and you have sum of squares degree of freedom and you have a mean sum of squares and the f value so this i would be focusing on this part okay degree of freedom this is what generally asked uh, in different condition as the, uh, in the net exams so source of variance the main source is between group variance and you have within so when you say within this is basically subject and error okay uh, in the usual pattern we calculate sum of squares here sum of squares here sum of squares here sum of squares here and you'll have a total here like that so how do we calculate the degree of freedom in each condition okay now you have three levels here pre-test post-test follow-up three levels are there so three minus one would be the um, the um, uh, between sum of squares you will see that c minus one i'm just using c c means columns like that you don't it, it is not necessary to be column like but you know like usually we say that c one two three three groups minus one you can use g then g minus one A any of the symbol okay now what is within within basically uh, total sample size n 
okay minus c here how many groups are there that's a within part now uh, the problem is uh, this is not what we really want we need error variance okay so uh, we'll go to the next one here in this context this is uh, subject variance subject variance degree of freedom can be calculated number of subjects minus one like that okay now all all everything is basically minus one right so what is this n minus c this is n minus one n minus one n minus one you add all these things you will get n minus c like that here what is the difference between this this n and this s s is number of participants that means you have assumed that in your study you have five participants um okay then s is five now n is number of observations so you have five here five here five here so n will be 15 like that okay now the difference is uh, like that but in uh, between group studies designs one way nova you don't need to work in this way because uh, n uh, the n will be really number of uh, people and everybody will be different in this condition sample number of subjects are same uh, and total number of observations are different like that so how do you calculate error so same logic here when you work the way in which we work with the sum of squares so if you want to calculate error sum of squares you have to calculate within minus subject sum of squares okay now based on this equation same way here if you want to find out degree of freedom of um, error you need to calculate degree of freedom of within i'll say n minus c calculate that value minus s minus one see that now this is a degree of freedom of error and the you will find out m uh, the mss value here and the error value here and these two you uh, divide you will get f value okay what the total degree of freedom n minus one usual one okay now so this is the uh, way in which we calculate um, degree of freedom for repeated measures of ANOVA and this is for a basic uh, one independent variable uh, that means one factor repeated measures of ANOVA so let us see uh, an, an example um, where you have uh, participants are like this three levels are there so uh, what would be the between group degree of freedom I'm just referring to degree of freedom here okay so this will be uh, three three groups are there 3 minus 1 equal to 2 here 15 numbers are there 15 minus 3 uh, it is 12 uh, 5 minus 1 4 s1 okay and this one error that the something that we really want to calculate that is 12 minus 4 it is 8 it is 14 15 minus 1 it is 14 the last one okay um, i guess that's it uh, uh, bye from my classroom. We'll see you in the next class. Bye.